The White House is coming out strong against BP, saying results in the Gulf would have been different if the federal government hadn't pushed the oil giant to clean up its act. The Obama administration also says no one owes departing CEO Tony Hayward an apology. Here to talk about BP's future and the American pick to head up the company is J.A. Rodriguez, Jr., author and special government employee for the OSHA Voluntary Protection Program. You know, it's so funny, not funny ha-ha, but sort of is, that Tony Hayward is being sent off, I, to, is, could it be Siberia? They say he's got a special project, a joint venture in Russia. Well, you know, you think about if you screw up on your job, you're sent to Siberia. So this could be literally the case. Where did BP go wrong on all of this? Well, I got to tell you, you know, uh, Tony Hayward is a 30-year man, right, for the, for the company. The last three years, he's been uh, the uh, CEO of the company. And so uh, he's being expected to change a culture in which he grew up in. And I think where BP went wrong is the fact that uh, they haven't been very willing to change that culture. Well, do you think, too, because I don't mean to, to, to pile on Tony Hayward, was this a lose-lose a proposition for whomever the person was going to be at the top after such a major disaster? You, me, it looks like he could also be a sacrificial lamb. Or, but although he said a few things that showed up at that, you know, yachting event, he said he wanted his life back and everything. Yeah. He could have been, he could have done things a little bit differently. Oh no, absolutely. You know, if we, and if we look at, if we move on to Robert uh, Robert Dudley uh, situation, he's been with the company 12 years. The last year of which has been as managing director for both the Americas and the Asia business partners of BP, you know, the question there is, why didn't he do something to change the culture within BP? He was actually responsible for that area in the Gulf. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was during his administration within his organization. So, right. And he got promoted in that process. Well, Dudley's trying to get the credibility back. He's trying to get residents there to, to trust him. Here's what one person had to say about Dudley's uh, promotion and what they think about it. We don't think after three months of all spilling in the Gulf that it capped for two weeks. It's all better. Guys, an American? You know, the, the British are such stoic individuals, stiff upper lip, all that stuff. Americans are, yeah. you know, we want, a, we want somebody that's going to show some emotion. Is Dudley the right guy? Exactly. You know, I'll tell you, that's a 208 million gallon question. <laughs> That's so true. And the reason I the reason I say it is because it's akin to 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 a restaurant, right? It serves bad food. Yes. So so you get bad food, and they fire the chef, and they promote the the cook, and they never change the menu. Mm -hmm. So is he the right person? The, the from a probability standpoint, it's possible. Is it probable? Well, only time will tell. Well, now you said that uh, the BP Amico is old school. So are the, the the regulators. They were, you know, literally sleeping with with uh, everybody was in bed together. So we had this whole minerals management agency that were, you know, they were good old boys as well. The, the culture within the government has to change too. The culture within the government has to change, and, and I got to tell you, the biggest change that needs to be done is that is that you have to invite bad news. You have to, you know, if it's, if there's bad news within your organization, you have to incentivize your people to be able to bring that to you. And if you can do that, that's 80% of your problems. J.A. Rodriguez, I'm fired up after listening to you, so maybe something good will happen out of all Thank this. Thank you very much. Thanks for being with us.